how well do you think that the surgical side is is really understanding when they come out of specialty training um, the relationship of where these implants need to be placed to achieve the best restorative outcome? That's an excellent question. And I think the best way to answer it is the advent of a variety of, of imaging technologies and the software tr um, programs that have come out over the last 15 years to be able to do simulation surgery so that the oral surgeon or the periodontist actually has a better understanding because many of these treatment planning approaches actually needs a diagnostic restorative component that's built in either place in the patient's mouth or it's virtually designed based on the imaging of the face or the imaging of the ridges. But by doing that, the oral maxillofacial surgeon and the, uh, the periodontist is actually understanding better what are the restorative needs of the referrers. Because in the end, it, a complication um, needs to be actually predicted um, ahead of time, and that's what the software does. Now, mm -hmm. periodontics does have, as a part of their specialty, they do have to do some restorative care uh, to actually understand some ways the limitations of the other side of what they've done. Mm -hmm. But that's simply to help to connect and complete the circle of what they saw in the virtual world in the diagnostic and treatment planning phases, which we all should be doing and working as a team. Hmm. So this basically technology has kind of become an answer uh, to that world. And <clears throat> I think we're seeing more of that every time we go to courses is, you know, it's much mm -hmm. easier to show somebody an anticipated result. Uh, and, and so you can see what a deviation of five degrees at the apex does to you uh, when you extrapolate that out in a, in a digital wax up. 